want to go to Se uh, Senator Kevin Kramer right now, because for a lot of businesses, they're still impacted by this. The South Dakota Republican, among others, pushing uh, a new measure to extend the so-called Paycheck Protection Program uh, at least until August, uh, I believe August 8th. Senator, where does this all stand right now? Well, as you probably know, Neil, the uh, PPP was extended last night by unanimous consent vote here in the United States Senate, um, and it goes over to the House, I suppose, for their consideration, or more likely, um, maybe even ends up as a part of the next CARES package, or perhaps that $130 billion that so far has not been borrowed or lent um, gets repurposed for some other for some other purpose based on what's you know what the demand is right. and what the tools are that that the economy needs. By the way, Senator, I apologize, North Dakota, not South Dakota, um, so, so my bad there. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, you mentioned this is going to the House. I mean, could they change it, alter it, um, change some of the guidelines on who's receiving it? What, what have you heard? So I think it's a great point, Neil, and I think that is a possibility, if not even a likelihood, remembering that we are soon to be uh, leaving here for the 4th of July holiday. We'll be back about you know, middle of July sometime for three more weeks, during which time I think the Senate and the House will be negotiating some sort of a phase four CARES Act. And so the House certainly could change that. It would have to come back over here for our uh, agreement. But um, I think we have time to deal with it. Clearly, the demand for the PPP has largely been met. I mean, we've been sitting on about $130 billion balance for several weeks now. So yeah. I do think that there needs to be some tweaks, perhaps some more focus and targeting. Do you worry, though, with all the, the move now to, to, to re-shut down some businesses or clamp down on capacity measures as part of this reopening phase is, uh, you know, dial back a little bit, states like California and Texas, Arizona, et cetera. Are you concerned that you might have to fork over even more money if this means some of these same businesses get back on the brink? Well, I am concerned about that, Neil, but I want to remind people, too, that there's still a lot of unallocated, it's certainly appropriate, but uh, uh, several hundred billion dollars of unallocated dollars from the previous phase. And I think it's important that we consistently look at what the needs are, see what the changes are that we should be making to those, the, to those dollars that have already been appropriated. But I want to also encourage people to not be driven so much by fear, whether small business, big business, airlines, uh, or, or farming. Use the common sense and the guidelines that, that uh, the government's provided along with the, the brain that God gave you, but don't be so fearful that that the cure does in fact become worse than the, the disease itself. I don't, I, while I understand what your previous guest was talking about, I don't share his level of concern about it. I, I, you know, we need to protect elderly people, we need to protect grandma, but 35 year olds, you know, we're gonna have to learn to live with the disease rather than let the disease, you know, force us to trade living in for surviving. And that's not just an economic position, I think that's just a, a you know, a practical living uh, position that I take. Um, you know, there's been a, a move afoot right now. We're going to raise this with a former uh, a police commissioner to mm -hmm. defund police departments, and especially in New York, where they're looking to shave better than a billion dollars from the budget. Minneapolis mm -hmm. just wants to disband the police altogether. Um, this is picking up steam. Uh, what do you think? I think that if Minneapolis wants to uh, kick all the police out, they might as well uh, show the exit to all their businesses and we'd welcome them in North Dakota because we're not dumb enough to defund and get rid of our police departments. So I think if locations want to be that foolish, then I think a market will uh, you know, pop up with states and communities that, that value the heroes that wear the badge and you know, support uh, public safety. And uh, I think it could become a very interesting state-to-state uh, -state competition, if you will. Yeah, well, we might be there already. Uh, Senator, thank you very, very much. Good catching up with you.